Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be recreating this gorgeous look of Aishwarya Rai from the movie Puneen Selvan. I personally love this look of Aishwarya Rai and that's why I thought of recreating it. First, I'm prepping my skin with the Bellora Paris Illuminating Moisturizer. Trust me guys, it is an excellent dupe for MAC Strobe Cream. If you can't afford the MAC one, you can definitely go for this one. And for foundation, I'm using the Makeup Forever HD Skin Foundation. It's a full coverage foundation which is good enough to cover all your acne scars, redness and pigmentation guys. It is one of the expensive foundation but I would say it is absolutely worth your investment. But it's really lightweight and it blends so seamlessly and you can see that I have lots of pigmentation and acne scars and you can see how it is covering up evenly and I'm doing it very effortlessly guys. I also skip the concealer part when I use this foundation because this is really lightweight so it can act as a concealer too without making your under eyes looking cakey. Next to highlight the certain parts of my face, I'm using a concealer from Wet n Wild. This is two shades lighter than my skin tone and the shade name is Medium Tawny. This look of Aishwarya Rai in Pony and Sylvan is particularly my favorite one. It looks so majestic as you can see. Her look is so bold, so majestic and so royal. So that's why I really fell in love with it and thought of recreating it. For blush, I mix the flirty nude and sweetheart pink from K-Beauty Crumb Blush range and this is the beautiful nude pink shade that I got. K-Beauty's Crumb Blush are really worth your investment again guys. You can definitely give them a try in case if you are more likely to use crumb blushes in your makeup routine. They are affordable and they are long lasting and moreover they last you for a very long time because you need only a very tiny amount to, to get that beautiful blushed look. Next to set everything in face, I'm using my favorite Charlotte Tilbury's Airbrush Flawless Finish Powder in the shade Medium. First, I'm setting my under eyes and rest of the face and finally, I would set the blush. Here you can clearly see that I have little bit overdone my blush. This is because once you set it with the powder, the intensity of the blush will also get reduced. So if you're not going to... Uh, set your blush with the powder you can go with a little amount uh, if you're going to set it with the powder just little bit do your blush overdone no problem in that as you can see when i start to apply powder on the blush the intensity is getting reduced and it gives you more of that natural blush look next to give my face a chiseled and sculpted look i'm using the bahama mama bronzer from the brand balm since I want it to be more natural, I preferred bronzer over contour because the bronzer can give you that beautiful warmth and glow to the face and as well as it also makes your face look more chiseled and sculpted. Her eye look was really simple so to give a little bit of tint I'm using the bronzer to my eyelid and then to create that bold winged liner I use the Lakme eyeliner pen for that. Next for mascara I'm using the Benefit Bad Girl Bang Mascara. As you look at her eye part it is really so natural. She didn't use any fake lashes instead her eyelashes looked so great voluminous and lengthened. So that's why I preferred the Benefit mascara. For eyebrows, I'm using the Lakme Micro Precision Brow Pencil. Her eyebrows are really nice and curvy but mine is an angled eyebrow. So I didn't try to change my eyebrow shape completely. Instead, I tried to make it look a little curvy.
lipstick I'm using this peachy pink shade from Swiss Beauty lip palette Since her lip shade was looking more natural and very beautiful, I thought this is the perfect shade to do. To give that same a natural effect, I applied the lipstick and then used my fingers to blot the color all over the lips and that is how the lipstick turned out. You can see it now it looks more natural. Also you can see that the blush has completely settled in the skin and it is giving a very natural glow from within. I bought this jewelry from an Instagram page and I would leave the link for that page in the description box so don't forget to check that out. The dress I'm wearing is actually a black sari that I got from Mintra. I would also leave the link for that one. So I have created this look with whatever jewelry and costume that I had with me guys. Well I really enjoyed in recreating this gorgeous look of Aishwarya Rai from Pune in Sylvan guys. I hope you would really love this video in case if you like this video please hit that like button also share your thoughts in the comment section i would really love to read that and in case if you're new to my channel do take a moment to look at my videos and if you find it useful don't forget to subscribe to my channel and share with your friends too also don't forget to follow me in instagram there i'll be posting more updates regarding makeup and skincare thank you so much for watching this video by spending your valuable time my dear friends i'll be meeting you soon in my next interesting video until then stay safe and take care bye